Hundreds of students from all across the state taking a dip <laughs> into what it takes to be an engineer today because of a record number of teams taking part in the Sea Perch Challenge. And apparently it was a swimming success. <laughs> Neil Zerang joining us now live at the University of Arkansas Little Rock Aquatic Center. Neil, why is it so important to get under the surface for this project? Well, a lot of these students are 4-H students who may work at the farm, but they say the things that they've learned have really taught them a lot. All these challenges are done underwater, and it's all done by middle and high school students, all the way from design, building, and really going back to the drawing board before they put these submersibles to the test. Collecting underwater samples or disarming a bomb, the Sea Perch Challenge simulates real-world missions with the smallest of budgets. We had our bumps in the road. With tape, PVC pipe, and pool noodles, kids like Jade, Valley, and Ryan from Madison County learn the nuts and bolts of design, soldering, 3D printing, and more to make a working submersible. Jade is our eyes for the program. It tells us, you know, up, down, left, right. So Ryan is really good at video games, so we made him the driver. He's kind of the boss. Yeah. Their team is one of a record 66 participating from over a dozen counties with 241 kids. It's tripled in size over the last several years. Brad McGinley coaches multiple teams from Grant County. He said the speed race obstacle course stays the same every year, but the mission changes. They are around a hydrothermic vent and they're having to take uh, rock samples and water samples. It's not all underwater shenanigans. A design report and presentation are worth half their score, competing for four slots in international competition this June. The world needs problem solvers, and that's what we're, we're trying to develop is problem solvers. It is the most rewarding part of my job. You're so close, you're so close. After I've been through the process and building it and repairing it, I feel like I could you know, have a field in that now. And good job. You can take this back to anything, you really. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas sponsored many of the kits that these kids started with so that they could participate in the competition today. And the four best overall from high school, middle school combined, and just all of them combined, will go to Maryland in the first week of June for the national competition. Reporting live in Little Rock, Niels Rang, back to you.